Good morning, ESM. I'm Josh. And I'm Liv. Today our letter of the week is D for diversity. Diversity is defined as being accepting of new ideas and having an open mind. Before we go into real detail, let's see what's happening with news. Beacon Skip has been named America's number one orchard in a national poll for the fourth time in six years. The orchard has been growing apples since 1911. Recently, Beacon Skip has made a push in the cannabis industry, making products that don't contain the compound THC. They recently released a CBD-infused coffee product. Mark Van Hai, an, an astronaut from NASA, is stuck on an international space station until March. That gives a record of about 353 days of the space station as the current record being 340 days held by Scott Kelly. NASA announced the information after they had to delay a spacewalk due to medical issue. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So Josh, how would you personally define diversity? Okay, so I believe diversity is about what makes us unique. It includes our backgrounds, like personality, our life experiences, and beliefs. All things that make us who we are. When people are diverse, it brightens our perspective on each other. How about you, Liv? Uh, you've basically said it all. Diversity is all about inclusion, having a mix and array or a variety and range of different backgrounds and perspectives. Okay, we'll elaborate more on diversity and its benefits after we go to Weather with Gabby. Today we will have a high of 79 with mostly sunny skies. This weekend is going to stay in the lower 80s with possible showers on Friday and Saturday and sun on Sunday. The rest of the week will be in the mid 80s with mostly sunny skies. I'm Gabby with your weather. All right, so one of the many benefits of being diverse is it allows us to learn about new cultures and broaden our knowledge of the world around us. It lets us gain a new perspective, better decision making, problem solving, dis and personal like biases and negative stereotypes. Uh, there's diversity in, in interest and hobbies, uh, like our wide variety of sports, which we'll be hearing about right now. Both the boys and girls cross country teams beat Central Square yesterday. John Corsi came in first for the boys and Rachel Ladd came in first for the girls. The golf team lost 187 to 227. John, Zach Johnson shot a 39. On Thursday night football, the New York, the New York Jets took, a wash, took take on the Washington football team at, at 820. In upcoming games, boys soccer plays against Central Square at home at 530. Girls soccer plays at Central Square at 630 and boys volleyball plays at Liverpool Plays Liverpool at 6.30, and I'm Ellie with your sports. All right, that's all we have for today for you and about our second to last topic, Pride Week Diversity. Uh, so for me, Josh, and everyone else here at The Morning Show, have a fantastic Thursday.